Hey guys, Lucas Damasio here again at Old Haunt Recording Studio, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit on songwriting. Now, this isn't exactly a technical video. This is probably talking a little bit more on production and, and artistry, uh, kind of finding the link between them, actually. I've always said that there are two types of producers. Technical producers, which are only focused on making the music sound technically good or, or adding flavor to it in a technical sense, and then artistic producers, which are trying to make sure that your song is the best song that it could be from an artistic standpoint, a musical standpoint, if you will. I find that you have to be a bit of both these days, especially in metal and rock. Uh, it's certain genres like rap and so forth, I think is better if you're a technical producer because usually the, the rappers kind of got a really good idea with uh, what they want to say and what they want to do in regards to the song. Um, and they just need some help with the technical side of things. So for our song, Mannequin Heart, the single that we released, um, it was uh, an interesting track because it's very unlike anything I've ever written. And I made a conscious decision that I wanted to write a song where I wrote the bass part first. Normally I write with the guitar riff in mind uh, and then I figure out my structure from there and I map it all out in Pro Tools uh, before I've even you know, come up with all the riffs. So I'll come up with one riff basically, figure out what I kind of want that riff to be. Does it work for the chorus, a pre-chorus or a verse or, or even just a hook? And then I'll kind of map out the rest of the song and I'll base everything I'm doing around that riff. Now in Mannequin Hearts, case, what I did was I actually wrote the entire bass line and I just wanted to have a song that kind of goes on this pretty steady flow throughout. Once I had the bass line down, I started adding embellishments. I actually added the lead guitar and, and the, the few keyboard parts you hear in the song first. And then I started throwing in the rhythm guitar parts. Now I was trying to make it a little bit more ambient sounding and when I started adding the rhythm guitar, that added a lot more of the punch and is what really made it a metal song. Without it, it's still a pretty awesome song. It sounds very kind of alternative rock, maybe, with a bit of ambient influence, but the heavy guitar really makes it what it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys a few of the bass riffs that are in Mannequin Heart, and I'm going to be using my Schechter Stiletto 5 Studio which is a great bass, which I've had for a very long time and is what I usually do my writing on uh, as far as bass parts go. So as you can see, the bass lines in Mannequin Heart have a very rhythmic quality to them. They're still very melodic, but you're kind of doing things on the bass that you can't really do on guitar, such as certain little rhythmic things, just because of the nature of the instrument. And it kind of melded the way that I approached writing the rest of the song. So I'd recommend maybe next time you guys are writing a song in your band, maybe try writing with the keyboards first or the bass first. Actually, in the song Knives, we actually started off with some very loose ideas, and then um, we kind of played around with what we were doing percussive speaking. We kind of came up with this really weird industrial sound based on the fact that we wrote all the percussion elements first and tried to write things around the way the drums were kind of being played in each section. That's all the advice I have right now on songwriting. Hit the notification bell and the subscription button below to stay notified whenever the next video drops. This is Lucas signing off.